so let me begin by asking you know, sort of coming off of Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. do you feel familiar kind of coming into this gladiator type world? I think it helped. Yeah. I think having the swordsmanship from Thrones and being in a, in a sort of period piece that is Thrones, coming into this, I think it's one of the reasons that I, uh, I was offered the role, and I think I, I brought a certain experience from that. Um, they are very, two very different things, though. Uh, this is a uh, a movie for a start, which is very different from TV, and also it's a, a history flick rather than a fantasy. Right. So they're different genres. The characters are also quite different internally, although they're they're similar looking and both quite brutal. Were you familiar with the real life historical aspect of the film, what it's based on? I was as far as before I did this film. I was uh, I was I think most people know that Vesuvius erupted, Pompeii right. was buried in ash. We now have an archaeological site that has plaster casts of humans encased in their last moments, which is fascinating to us. But in doing this movie, I learned a lot more about the actual historical event and how fascinating it was and how horrific it must have been. There's a morbid fascination for us in, in, in Pompeii. And, and, um, but what I, what I was really happy about with this film is we brought a kind of quite a beautiful human element to it, I think. Paul W.S. Anderson is such a gifted director and really mm. interesting guy. What was it like working with him? What's it like being on one of his sets? I think from the very start with Paul, uh, I was brought on board this project because of his enthusiasm. He's, he worked so, so hard. This is him and Jeremy Bolt's project over the last six years. They've been passionate about it. And he brought that passion to the table when we were talking about it. And I, that I really wanted to do the film after meeting him. Um, and he's amazing. He he gives you everything you need to play this role, to be in this movie, and you rehearse and you do all the character elements you need to before you even get in front of a camera, and then once you turn up, he expects you to know what you're doing, he expects you to know the scene, to know your job, and to, to get on with it. And then he, his job is to make it look as visually incredible as it can, and I think he, he's an amazing person, an amazing director. Is that what you're looking for from a director, that, that enthusiasm for the project that oh, you're yeah. working on? Yeah, there's, there's, you can get directors who you can tell the enthusiasm is not genuine, right. and you can tell the directors where they really love what they're doing. And um, Paul is definitely the latter. And what are you looking for for a project, kind of going forward with your career? What was it that interested you about this, and what are you looking for when you're choosing projects? I think for this, there was a, an element of body transformation which I found quite appealing. I, I wanted to sort of, I, I mean, someone says, do you want to play gladiator in the lead of a big, disaster movie and I kind of went hell yeah you know I, I want to do that and I want to get very fit for it and I want to I, I love sword fighting and I've, I've enjoyed it with with Game of Thrones and now I'm enjo I enjoyed it with this um, and then from here I, I my now my now my urge is to probably step into a slightly more, more modern day shoe mm. and, and do something a bit more uh, it's a bit more contemporary well looking forward to that and great work in the film man thanks great man you. Yeah, thank really you nice.